Toby Badeo and I'm from Nigeria. So how do I feel during this point of time, during the fifth graduation of Texas American University? I feel so happy, so relieved, I feel thankful to God, I feel thankful to my parents, I feel thankful to Texila American University because without them I will not be able to achieve this journey that I just that I started um, f five years ago. Have I been to Guyana before and my experience in Guyana? No, I, uh, the first time I came to Guyana was when I started Texila American University. Texila American University brought me here and my experience in Guyana has been so good because the community, the country, it's warm, the weather is okay, the, when it comes to security it's safe, um, the market is easily accessible, the people are friendly, they are no, there's no racial or any other problem I see in many countries. I really enjoy my stay in Guyana and I hope that I stay more in Guyana to help the community and give back all the love they shared to me during this time of my journey. How was the transition from the preclinical to the clinical rotations? Um, the, when I was in preclinicals, we had a lot of good lecturers and they actually taught us very well because without your basis, you cannot be good in clinical. So we really enjoyed our preclinical. It's a lot of hard work, I'll tell you that, and a lot of reading. And Dexila gave us, a, they made sure that we, we sat for a very standard exam. And after that exam, when we went to the clinical area, it was very easy. And the doctors were very accommodating. They were able to teach you anytime you need help. And Texila Library was always accessible anytime I wanted to go there, read with a lot of books. So it was a very, very good transition from clinical, from preclinicals to clinicals. What do I love best about Texila American University? I love the fact that when I came here, Texila started as a very small school and started building. And you can imagine, I just, I'm finishing here and I've done five and a half years and I can tell you where Texila is right now. It's one of the best schools in the Caribbean. And that is just in five and a half years, you can see how fast they grow. So imagine in 10 years time what Texila will be to be in fact, if not the best queen in the Caribbean. So Texila, has, Texila has, has been growing and I really appreciate it because I know that as a future Texilian, I'm going to be very proud that I graduated from Texila American University. So now that I've cleared the camp through the help of all my lecturers, my own hard work and Texila, going through Texila everything, through all my basics, um, now I feel that I can be able to be a doctor in the Caribbean country because what the, what the CAMC actually helps in is to test the knowledge of what the school, the hospital, especially the GPS CTG hospital has helped us get the knowledge, they want to test it. So it's a very, it's a hard example as long as you read and you follow the whole guidelines from your lecturers and your doctors, you'll be able to pass. And I'm happy that I went through Texila and I'm able to get my CAMC and I'll be Practicing in many hospitals, my choice. <laughs> Thank you very much.